In June 2018, Melbourne's first safe injecting room was constructed in Richmond's West. Since its opening, there has been thousands of users registered to use the venue. The cost of the venue is reaching almost $4 million a year. Since the 30th of June last year, there has been 2,908 registered clients using the service, 61,823 visits including a supervised injection, and 1,232 overdoses have been safely managed by staff inside the Melbourne Safe Injecting Room. While the venue aims at getting users off the streets and saving lives, many local residents and businesses are left furious and generally upset about the nature of this establishment. Uh, g'day guys, I'm Chris, I'm the venue manager at the Kingston Hotel in Richmond. We've certainly seen a bit of a change in the demographic around here. Um, had a few issues with uh, finding needles in our car park, in our staff area, um, sort of uh, uncouth people coming into the venue, harassing customers, things like that. Um, not a lot of positives uh, from our side of things and we've certainly the, the response we've got from the community is that um, it's been a negative on the suburb as a whole. Uh, I know a lot of parents uh, in the area that have kids at their primary school are not particularly pleased about it. They're working pretty hard with uh, the council and the state government to get it removed. I think uh, the intention was to take sort of the drug use off the streets, so it's sort of the opposite of what's occurred. So a lot of those areas down on Victoria Street and see drug deals and things like that happening pretty regularly. I think all they've achieved in doing is move it from Victoria Street down to our end of the block police uh, statistics show that. Violent crime not so much but certainly a lot of theft in the area now. I see I only live a couple of hundred metres away. I've uh, been in Richmond now for a couple of years. Uh, I've certainly noticed there's a lot less needles when I step outside in the morning on the way to work so overall I guess that's a positive. Well, I think most people don't like it because you see a whole bunch of uh, folks that they probably wouldn't hang around with at the pub. Um, walking down the street and they don't want anything to do with them. Nah, they seem to stay in a little pocket. Um, so to be honest, maybe it doesn't affect me as much. I don't venture down Victoria Street too often. I go more towards uh, Richmond. I think it's probably saved some lives. I'd say there's probably some more junkies on the streets though. Yeah. Uh, living here probably decreases the value a lot of the area. I've been such a nice area. Um, having people walk past off their heads most of the time. Um, always shooting up out the front of my house sitting in their cars, shooting up, passing out and then driving off. It's really, it's quite disgusting in the area, to be honest. We've had a lot of security cameras installed around the area for drug use in the alleyways. Um, there's too much. People are leaving disposable needles everywhere. Um, in the back of my ute, you find 10, 10 needles sometimes in Macca's boxes and stuff. They're sitting in the back. We've got um, people trying to come into the gate all the time just try and find somewhere to sleep, just always off their head. Um, there are more people on the street in the area, I find. It's not as safe to go out. I've got to walk my girlfriend in the car every time she comes out because it's not ideal for the public. Um, yeah, that's really, really, it just decreases the value of such a nice area. Yeah, it's right next to a primary school. So it's basically, it's, it's like you've got kids walking to and from school and you've, you've got a drug drug den pretty much right next door. It's ridiculous to even think that they passed it, to be honest. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, you know, the, sometimes drug guy outside is uh, fighting outside. Then he run away and uh, sometimes run into my shop and they make the, everything a mess, you know? And uh, like the, I, I, I got the aquarium, that's why all the glass. Sometimes, like a couple of months ago, one guy break in, you know, make my tank broken and the water everywhere. It's very dangerous. That's why. I say I, I said the council very very strange. Why he set set up the one one station there special for the jockey guy? I don't know why. Because this one make the security not very well, and the property here all the drop, property drop. No one want to live in the Richmond. That's why. The business here drop, drop. I think thirty to forty percent than last year or two years ago, because not too many people come here because in the night time. Some jockey outside, you know, some, some people bring the children and uh, he, he feel very, very dangerous here. That's why I never come here to, for a dinner, for a lunch. That's why here, not too many people here. That's why. I call the police, but you know, 
after police come here after 10 minutes, but you know, they run away. Because sometimes we got a customer there, but you know, they just break in and they, you know, they make everything mess. Then you run away, only five minutes. It's clear that although there are indeed arguments on both sides, it's the location of the venue which could be a middle ground for change.